Hello YouTube, today I'm making a tutorial on how to speed up your computer and how to speed up uh, Daisy. So basically you wanna um if you have loads of stuff on your desktop, you wanna select it all and put it into one folder. This will uh, basically create less strain on your graphics card and making your graphics card more powerful in a way. Um which may help and it may do a minimal amount of help. Because I'm doing this video very fast, well, as short as possible, I'm going to show you all through the software. But the software you'll be needing is CCleaner and Malwarebytes. And if you have some money, uh, buy TuneUp Utilities or Boost Speed. Um, I can't remember getting Boost Speed. Um, Microsoft Security Essentials amazing antivirus, and that's for free. Um, it doesn't use a lot of resource, so it's very easy to run in the background and doesn't slow your computer down as the other antiviruses do. You also want to go into advanced system settings. Then go into settings and then copy what I have selected here. So um, you have a mixture of best performance and appearance. Oops. And basically, this will just help your computer a lot. This may do a lot of helping, basically. Um, power setting. Change power saving settings. And it should be on balanced. You want to have high performance. This will mean you will use more electricity or well, energy but um, your computer will be a lot faster response etc so put on high performance you may free up a bit of FPS it won't do miracles but with laptops it's absolutely amazing um, also you want to go onto computer and delete random crap um, this will help a lot because um, your computer needs to basically you have thinking space the more thinking space is uh, used up the less your computer can think basically and there's no there's no good explanation but it will help a lot uh, you want to get a USB um, and then you want to right click on it properties ready boost and dedicate this device to ready boost and put the slider all the way to the end and hit apply and OK Basically, if you're running low on RAM, as your CPU may be in need help from random allocated memory. Um, the random allocated memory, for example, let's say if you have a gig or two, um, it's going to go to your CPU and help your CPU out. But if your CPU needs even more, the USB will act as if it's random allocated memory. I don't really need this as I have 8 gigs of RAM, uh, high speed gaming RAM, so um, it still helps out. I think so keep it also if you're unfortunate like me and have loads of partitions I actually only have two hard drives and the these three are one hard drive and this slows down your computer so before installing Windows 7 or Windows 8 if you want to upgrade um, I suggest not making many partitions I suggest two at most uh, you want to have one hard drive dedicated to gaming and then one for your OS. So I have all my stuff here. So I've got my Steam, I've got my malware bytes and software, basically. So I want to go Control Panel, Uninstall Programs, and Uninstall Crap you don't need. So I've basically uninstalled things I don't really need, um, which is good, basically. Um, so a percent temp percent these files are temporarily I can't pronounce it just delete them all shouldn't delete them all sometimes and also properties let's see I have don't move files to recycle bin remove files immediately when deleted this will free up more space um, normally it should your recycle bin should take uh, up to 217 megabytes which isn't too good, I guess. Um, 217 is quite, quite a bit, but you know. Um, also, to speed up Daisy now, 
Daisy. I'm gonna put a link to how to speed it up. But you wanna go into Daisy CFG. You wanna put these two on one. And then go to this. Scroll all the way to the bottom. And then it should say this. Uh, do whatever you want here. Whatever your computer can handle well. But because I'm probably gonna be recording this game, I might even put these down. These improve FPS amazingly. This, the lower, the lower this is, the more FPS. This will increase FPS amazingly. Um, but, um, like you might have trees um, rendering in really close, so it might not make your game look amazing. It won't affect graphics, but it will just affect the objects. The shadow Z, uh, Z distance. Um, this is how far your shadow should render in. I like to keep it uh, at a hundred, basically because I'm recording. Uh, my computer thinks it's uh, running slow than it should be. Um, view distance 1,600. This that's the default in a way. Um, or from Armor 2, as this runs on Armor 2.5, well, it's arguable. Preferred object uh, view distance 1,600. Terrain grid. I like that on 12, but you can also have 12.5. Now, once you've finished editing these two, you want to right click on them, properties, read only, apply, and it's OK. So, do it to both. But yeah. Um, this doesn't count, and this you can just delete the use. Uh, um, yeah. And also, well, there's not much to do right now because this is a quick video so uh, this I just finished showing you how to speed up your computer so you want to defrag clean up um, clean up your desktop and basically that's it um, and possibly check your registry errors or anything vertifying integrity uh, integrity of game catch you want to do that uh, it tries to look for errors in your game I think I just did it, yeah, I just did it, I, did, I had no errors in my game. Um, I know this game is pretty laggy because it's an alpha, but Rocket has said he's addressing these problems, and there was some pretty good fixes. Um, so yeah, also, keeping your um, Steam library simple does help. So also go on to settings on Steam, it says in-game, enable the Steam overlay while in-game, and tick that. This may free up like five at frames, so yeah. I nearly forgot, but you want to go onto properties again, and it says uh, set launch options. Um, depend. So you want to go minus no splash space, n uh, minus no pause space, max mem. So this is the amount of RAM you have. I have eight gigs, so you want to put eight one nine two. Um, just look on uh, the link that I'll put. Um, showing you how much CPU count so minus CPU count equals four. Uh, I have a quad core processor. Um, processor really counts in this game, so the better processor you have, the more FPS. But so does the graphics card. So yeah, um, you want to put this in. Some people say this doesn't help, so you can get rid of this command. But yeah, um, you want to you want to keep this game always up to date. Will help a lot, and that's basically it. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.